Hello again. In this video I want to show how to use WPF forms and create a simple UI. So I am starting with standard imports as in previous projects. Also I need here a PyRevit WPF library. And then I am defining current document and UI. I go ahead and create a model form object. In the initialize function, I need to type a path to the XML file. OK, and after initializing the UI, I need to show it with the show dialog method. And I create an instance of model form object and pass uh, an XML file. I use sharp develop to create XML files. Just create a blank WPF Python project. Now I'm creating a simple UI using tools tab. So I need a couple of buttons here. The plan is to select some Revit elements and change a value of a certain parameter. Now I want to have a text input to define which parameter to change and its value. So it's done. Let's save and check it. Here are some quick fixes to finalize the UI. Now let's go back to the code and start adding functions. Here I want to select some Revit elements and I decided to use a pickobjects method. Just copy paste it from GitHub. Also I need to hide main window before going back to Revit. and it's not working. You need to go back to the interface file and add a click event uh, to define which function to start after pressing the button. Just a quick fix here. I mistyped button's name. Great. We retrieved Revit elements and now we can continue further. Here I am adding a cancel button Nothing special. Now I need to receive input information from the user interface. First text input is a parameter name, second one its value. I need to start a transaction to make changes in the document iterate uh, through the list of elements and change its parameters. I use lookup parameter method for this task. Let's create an instance of model form object and check how it works. Just another error. I don't need task dialog message anymore, so just delete it. As you see, I forgot to add click events for other buttons and just fixing it. Okay. Everything works fine. 